So what I found most fascinating about my research is the sheer amount of information you can get out of measured data, be it for example physiological data such as eye movements or personal data on your smartphone and how we can develop new applications that enhance people's lives. My name is Jakob Karolus, I'm a researcher at the University of Stuttgart and I'm working in the research field of human-computer interaction, so how humans interact with computers and machines. In my current study we look at how different visualizations influence the eye movement patterns of our participants. That means that if I understand the visualization I exhibit a different eye movement pattern than if I don't understand it. We plan an eye tracking study with about 20 participants and in the study we look at text as a form of visualization. So we show each participant um, text in different languages and this text is encoded in simple questions. For example, what is the capital of Germany? And we will show these questions in different languages. So for example in German, Spain, Greek and some of uh, the languages are not familiar to the participants. So we're going to start the first experiment now. Um, there's some information provided on the screen for you how exactly that's going to work out. So just read through that and if you have any questions uh, you can ask me. Eye tracking is a technique that is used to record the user's eye movements. Usually there's an infrared camera involved that uh, records the human eye and based on the reflections we can see on the iris for example or the eyeball um, we can infer the direction the user is looking at. In this particular study, we used a remote eye tracking device. Uh, that's a device that's attached to the monitor and records the user's eye movements while he or she is looking at the screen. So after we finish the study, we look at the eye movement data we collected from our participants. And in particular, we want to find out if there are any specific patterns that we can see in the data that relate to, oh, they just looked at something they understood compared to something they didn't understand. Since we have like 20 participants and a lot of questions, we have a lot of data and we cannot look through that visually, so we need to write an algorithm that analyzes the eye movement patterns. Um, what we aim for in the end is that we have some sort of mechanism that tells us whether the user understood what they were looking at. So just think about you're in a foreign airport, you don't speak the language and there's a billboard you don't understand. You go to the billboard and the eye trigger that is incorporated into the billboard detects that you don't understand the language and switches to a language until it recognizes that you understand it.